it took over a week, ladies and gentlemen, but Donald Trump has been formally indicted as of yesterday. That's right. Donald John Trump is the first president of the United States, either current or former, to be charged with a crime. This has basically opened the floodgates and has basically destroyed over 200 years of set precedents in regards to how the United States, as well as the justice system, treats presidents, either current or former. And usually in regards to the current, it's in regards to, uh, say, uh, an impeachment process. But nonetheless, this has not stopped people like the district, Att district attorney Alvin Bragg of New York City from, tar from charging Donald Trump in regards to hu supposed hush payments for Stormy Daniels. Now, I've heard that there's probably more in regards to uh, in regards to the, the indictment. I've heard that it reaches so as far as 34. And honestly, considering that case, I would not be. I it, it seems as though even Alvin Bragg does not have does not feel confident in this case. I in this case, uh, convicting Donald Trump, but not whatsoever. Especially considering the fact that this seems like a a, a fishnet operation. In which uh, they basically a certain basically uh, uh, attorneys try to charge person with as many crimes a as possible in ho the hopes of something would stick. In that regard, that seems more like a weakness than an actual strength. If you if you're trying to find something to stick, that obviously means that it's not it's not necessarily a good case that you have. Nonetheless. Thanks to Alvin Bragg, 200 years of precedence has now been destroyed, and the woke left has already been celebrating that. In fact, I've been seeing a lot of images in regards to how, uh, uh, or, well, not, they're obviously not real images, because don't, this has not yet to happen. In fact, it's not going to happen at all, I will explain soon, of Donald Trump being handcuffed and taken away by police, sometimes very violently. Now, of course, that's not going to happen. There's already been, I've, there's already been new reports saying that uh, Donald Trump will not go, will not go in handcuffs. In fact, uh, he will be going to New York in order so that way he can meet, <coughs> <coughs> so that way he can meet at court in New York City to address charges and to set bail or and whatever. And that's going to happen on Monday, this upcoming Monday. So, I'm sorry for you Wokies out there. That's not the whole handcuff, mass handcuff, I, um, fantasy that you guys have whenever you masturbate or something like that. That's not going to happen. It's, he is going to walk there by himself. But nonetheless, this does, this alone has a lot of political ramifications. And I'm not, and of course, I'm not just talking about the 200 year, year precedence, but, in regards to the, to the fact that Donald Trump is the front runner for the Republican mo no, no, nomination, with DeSantis being uh, a distant second at this point, his support is already going to grow. Now, I know that a lot of people say that uh, that uh, this is on this is only galvanizing only the right base um, for Donald Trump. It's going to invigorate the, tr invigorate Trump Republicans as well as right wing independents. But I would argue that considering the fact that very recently there was a poll where it showed that 70% uh, of independents polled think that this entire indictment is political, I think that's going to have a major effect as well. Hell, nearly 30% of Democrats polled in that actually even agreed that this was completely political. Not, law, not based upon law, just politics. And it's obviously meant in order to derail Donald Trump and his campaign for for his um, second term as president of the United States in 2024. That's all this is. And it's just going to grind him down for grind him down. But in all honesty, this is going to backfire in my personal opinion. I am not going to say that this would not have like a damaging effect. It could, it definitely can potentially have a dam damaging effect on Donald Trump with his reputation and or whatever. And it and definitely being uh, put on his like cri on his criminal record or such, but that's only if he's convicted. But nonetheless, nonetheless, it's still going. 
it's still going to make Donald Trump more popular than ever. As Biden is falling, especially in regards to how he's been handling a lot of things from, like, uh, I don't know, East Palestine, and even recently with what happened with the national shooting, he sent Jill Biden. Jill Biden was the one that went over to the funeral to, to see, not Joe Biden. Apparently, he doesn't, apparently, seeing six people, making seeing the funerals of six people who died in a tragedy, such as what happened in uh, Nashville, is something that's on its low end of priorities. I really wonder what his real priorities are. That's, re that's kind of rhetorical. But nonetheless, Donald Trump is definitely going to get a lot of attention as a result. And yes, the mainstream media is right. His mugshot is absolutely going to be major campaign material. And for good reason. Donald Trump has been has been accusing the mainstream media, the um, district attorneys, as well as the establishment within the within the, our own government, that they are trying to set up major political witch hunts in order to derail him as either uh, a nominee for the Republican Party or as President of the United States. It's been happening for several years. <coughs> They did that with the whole Russian collusion thing. That went nowhere. They did that with uh, the Ukraine issue. That went nowhere. They tried to give him, tried to get him on two impeachments. One of them being on Ukraine and the other being on January 6th. That went nowhere. He was found not guilty. And he, they, it's been continuing on and on and on and on. Now, if I, in all honesty, if you were to ask me if this would actually happen, so prior to, say, the Mar-a-Lago raid. I would say that that wouldn't have been at all. It would be so, so ridiculous that the Democrats would not try that. Even they wouldn't be stupid enough to do that. But then they did. The FBI came in and raided Mar-a-Lago, which was why before I made this video, I thought that there was a potential possibility that the Democrats would definitely try this. If they... If Biden was willing to send the Federal Bureau of Investigation to try to get at Donald Trump over supposedly classified documents during his time as president, who's to say that a district attorney in New York wouldn't do the same thing to indict Donald Trump? Honestly, this is causing... I said this in my previous video, but this will cause further and further division. I mean, I kind of see this as... Uh, <laughs> I kind of see this in similarities to Julius Caesar and the Roman Senate when the during the time of the fall of the Roman Republic. Because when Julius Caesar went on and, and fight a lot of wars as well as to uh, do a lot of things, the Roman people loved him. And b before you guys on the woke left or anyone at all try is trying to say that I'm trying to compare... I'm trying to. I'm calling uh, Donald Trump a tyrant in the making. I'm absolutely not because I honestly don't think that at all, especially as a Trump supporter. But I'm just making I'm just simply making historical similarities. As a result of his growing popularity, as well as a lot of the law of problems that, uh, well, a lot of issues that the Roman Sen Senate had with Julius Caesar, especially in regards to some of his new policies, they went so far. As to try to arrest him. They try to get him to return. To answer for the charges. And the Roman Senate. What did he do? He crossed the Rubicon. And that, that eventually led to the Roman Civil War. And the fall of the Roman Republic. And the formation of the Roman Empire. The point I'm trying to make here is. Thanks to this precedent. The Rubicon was crossed by the Democrats. As a result of trying to get at someone like Donald Trump. They want to indict a, for a former president of the United States based upon supposed hush money. And a few other indictments and a few other charges that we haven't seen yet. In spite of the fact that Donald Trump, as well as Stormy Daniels, has said specifically that there was no affair. That this hush money was, th and there was evidence that showed that Michael Cohen, Trump's former lawyer, was the one who made the who made the made the transaction. And not only that, 
Not only that, Donald Trump went on to get, win a lawsuit against Stormy Daniels over, <coughs> over a non-disclosure agreement. This is the weakest case by far. I think that this, I honestly think that this is nothing more than trying to give red meat to the woke left. Nothing more, nothing less. <coughs> I think that, and in all honesty, this is just going to shoot them, shoot the DA in New York as well as the Democrats in the foot. Because now it is beyond reasonable doubt that a lot of people, especially within the, especially among independents, see this as nothing more than political maneuver. Not true, not true justice. Just kangaroo trial based upon politics. Nothing more. They want to get rid of Donald Trump. They need to get rid of Donald Trump. He is the front runner of the Republican money of the Republican Party. He is the one who is against the establishment, against the Democrats, against rhinos, and they know it. They are afraid of him. That's why they're do going so far as to do this. And honestly, with what's been happening very recently with the indictment as well as the Mar-a-Lago raid, how much do you want to bet that there's going to be more going on as the days follow? Even before, even right before the presidential election in 2024. My name is Naomi here, another York Truth. Please post the comments down below, like, subscribe, subscribe, share, friends. Also, you know, if, it, if you have any issues regarding my videos, such as how I speak or anything whatsoever for me to improve, please post your comment section down below or directly be best with me. Thank you. Almost.